Hello, beautiful souls. I am Valeria Moritza at Healing Through You. I am an infinite being of light, and so are you. Archangel Gabriel is here today with us, ready to transmit a message for you through me. And it's quite interesting because he's just showing up and I really have no idea what the message is. So I'm just going to let him, her, it, um, allow that energy to flow through me and let's see what comes through. It is with great pleasure that I am here sending this message of transmission today allowing everyone to receive the way that it was always meant to be received. And the way that it's always been meant to be received is the way that it comes through in your thoughts, the way that it comes through in your mind, the way that it comes through every single day and it's not really noticed. I want you to know that a lot of the really great ideas, the really good thoughts, the really fantastic ways of um, doing things that bring you to the fabulous synchronicities, to the wonderful repeating numbers that you keep seeing, to the fantastic meetings that wouldn't be had you not listened to the little nudge of moving or going somewhere. All of those are transmissions. They are the way that we communicate with you so that you may continue down your life path and into finding the things that you really need for your life purpose, for what you're wishing to do, you're wishing to acquire, you're wishing to uh, receive, create, whatever that is. These are all the communication ways that are being flowed into your awareness. There are no coincidences. There are no mistakes. Every single thing that happens when it brings you to a place of love, of joy, of incredible, amazing expansion, it's happening because you are listening to the messages. Just as this message is being transmitted today, when you get those great, beautiful ideas that sound so wise and even you are surprised as you speak them or you write them or you feel them know that it's because it's coming from us it is your connection you're listening you being attached to that divine part of you that is actually allowing yourself to receive these messages in all the various forms in which you do receive as you know, not everyone is the same, not everyone receives things um, in the same way. But whatever it is that you're feeling light and excited and joyful, and then it brings you that fantastic experience there on earth, those are all ideas and hints or whispers from us that you are actually listening to. In contrast, when you're listening to your ego, which is separate from God, separate from the divine, separate from your higher self, those are the moments when you begin to feed the fear, feed the doubts, fear, feed the areas of your life where you're feeling sad or not good enough or even angry. Those feelings are very constrictive and they feel very small to you and you feel angry or sad or like you can't do anything your energy constricts and you begin to notice all of the things that are negative around you that is not us that is not you that is not the divine part of you that is connected to the true divinity to the higher realms that are around you that is your ego that is the small part in your consciousness that you have been used to listening to and following and you give it so much energy so much more than it actually deserves and you remain there going down that spiral of fear or sadness or anger jealousy all of those low frequency energies that 
we are attracted to as humans, or you are attracted as humans, that these are the energies that are not the pure you. They are coming from that ego. They are coming from that separation. They are coming from that part of you that believes that you are just the being in the human body, just the person staying within that human body. And then those are your limitations because that's your reality as a human. But when you feel into the light, into the joy, into the love, and you see things in your life going well, and going well, it doesn't have to be that big, gigantic goal that you have at the end of your tunnel. It doesn't have to be that big, beautiful um, arrival at the end of your vision board. It is the moment. It is the living in the moment. Are you feeling happy because you're spending quality time with your best friend? And quality time is not the time that you're sitting next to each other looking at some type of electronic device. The quality time is where you can just sit there in silence maybe and feel connected. Or it could be that you're just fooling around or rolling around the earth or, or the grass and laughing or playing jokes on each other and really feeling happy in that moment. That, that is part of listening to the messages and being connected and acting upon the feel of, I feel like doing this for the pure purpose of just being, for the pure purpose of just receiving that love, receiving that joy and being able to also reciprocate that love and joy with those around me. It is also the part where you feel inclined to create some new artwork or go for a run or play a sports or listen to music, all of those things that put you in the zone, as you say, all of those things that make your heart sing, your soul dance, and your spirit to lift all of those things in the moment, as little or as minute as they may seem to you, are the things that give you that reassurance that you are indeed connected, that you are listening or receiving the messages and understanding them and acting upon them. It is all about the feel. And today we really want to encourage you to live every minute of your life in that vibration, the vibration of being present, of feeling joy, feeling love, allowing yourself to receive. Just like when you go outside and you feel the sun rays on your skin and you just allow yourself to receive the beautiful, delicious warmth that comes from the sun rays. Before you get burnt, of course, you're not going to stay there at that moment. But those are the little things, right? Or when you work outside and you get a whiff of some flowers from your neighbors or even your own garden or as you're walking down your neighborhood or you see a butterfly just fly right across your path or around you. These are all the messages that you are receiving when you appreciate them, when you acknowledge them, when you are able to feel that love and joy from every single thing that you see and feel, you are connected. And the more that you give this little everyday instances, their acknowledgement, their joy, their love, their time in space, the more that your life begins to shift to remain and continue vibrating at this high frequency of love and joy. And as we're recording this, you can hear, perhaps you can hear some birds singing outside the window. And that is a reminder that we're all connected, a reminder that that is also a message, the message of like, listen to me, I'm here. How amazing is this, right? The miracle of being able to decipher the joy through the sounds of how do those, those, how do those sounds make you feel in your heart? That is the message. Allow yourself to receive in love and light and we are complete. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, that was a really great reminder from Archangel Gabriel. Just a little um, 
explanation here. When I feel Archangel Michael or Archangel Gabriel coming through, they usually speak as a group, as a we thing, because it's it's more of a grouping of energies that come together and they come together letting me know of a specific name sometimes, such as today, because it has to do with the message. So for example, for me, because I'm an angels girl, Archangel Gabriel is the communicator. And so when the message is about communication or speaking, usually I see it or feel it as Archangel Gabriel. But as you heard, the message comes through talking about we and us and it is because they they the entities the angels the archangels the um guides that we have work in a group because they are all connected just like we are all connected we just like we are all one it is all one and so it reverts back and forth and when you hear me transmission my transmission coming out as me or i um, a lot of times that's me, that's the part of me that comes through that is translating that to you with my own human understanding. So I just wanted to give you that clarification. It felt like I wanted to um, to explain that a little bit more. And also because a lot of you are receiving these messages and transmitting. And you may see that difference in your own transmissions, in your own channeling. And that is one of the reasons why it happens like that, or why it sounds like that sometimes. So um, that is the explanation. All right, guys, with that, loving you so much. I hope you have been enjoying my um, interviews. Please send me a message. Let me know how it feels if you have listened to the interviews with several beautiful, amazing souls that have come up to share their stories with me uh, in my podcast. Uh, let me know how it feels. Let me know how you like it. Um, I have put the intention to bring forward um, the best energies that resonate with you, the ones that are really going to help you and uplift you. So yeah, let me know, send me a message or put it in the comments if you can. And also if you haven't already, please um, subscribe to it, like it, give it a rating. All of those things really help the podcast to be seen, be known and be found. Um, send me so much love and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.